What's going on guys, Hot Sauce Z here. Welcome back to another new tutorial video. Um, today I wanted to go over the replay buffer in OBS Studio and uh, why you should be using this um, to to capture your gameplay clips essentially. I like this a lot better than um, than shadow play. Personally, just because I can kind of, I can use my audio chain with this and um, I haven't, it, it, shadow play doesn't play well with my audio chain at all. So I, I try not to use it from, for clips, but I do like running the replay buffer. So we're gonna go over today how to set that up or at least how I've done it. I'm sure there's a couple different ways to do it, um, but I'll walk you through how to set it up if you don't have it set up and uh, that way you can start capturing clips this way. Um, it's, it's super convenient and uh, yeah, well, let's get into it. Okay. Sorry for the uh, the telescoping vision here. I'm actually, I guess we'll just go ahead and turn, um, I'll turn the preview off so I can get rid of that. But okay, so the way I have set up the replay buffer, um, you'll you'll notice here, this is something I'm gonna keep an eye on. This, this will be black kind of like this one is right now since I'm recording if the replay buffer is active. But anyways, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go into settings and right here in general, I like to do it this way. This is kind of a preference based thing, but I just do it this way so that I don't ever forget. And uh, you can automatically start the replay buffer when streaming. Um, I like to do this. Anytime I hit stream, it's just gonna turn my replay buffer on and that way I always know it's going. So go ahead and check this if that's something you would prefer. That's something I like. It's a nice convenience feature. But then next we're gonna go to output here and let's pop over to replay buffer. And you're gonna wanna turn this on. Make sure this is checked. And then down here, you uh, you can play around with this. Um, I prefer like 65 seconds because most of the time when I'm capturing replay buffer clips, this kind of depends on what you want clips for. For me, I capture clips and you guys have seen a lot of them here on the channel through shorts or on my TikToks or whatever. This, this is how I gather all of those clips is just simply with the replay buffer. So 65 seconds is usually like, that's enough time. Um, hopefully I catch everything I need within those 65 seconds. And for the most part I do, there's, um, you know, there's been a couple of times where it's like, ah, oh, I just kind of missed the, the first part of that. But uh, and this depends on um, your memory. You know, I've devoted a thousand megabits of my memory to the replay buffer and this this combination seems to work for me but feel free to play around with this and find uh, the maxes that work for you and your needs but anyways just make sure that's checked set your times and then you know apply okay so good to go there something to keep in mind your replay buffer is going to play off of the settings that you have set here in your recording section so you want to make sure this is set how you want it as well um we also wanna come down here into the video section and it's gonna run off of this as, as well. So I run my base canvas at 1920 by 1080 um, and my output is of course scaled to 1920 by 1080. That way I record in full HD um, at 60 FPS. I also run the Lanxos sharpening um, or downscale filter. But when I'm streaming, if you wanna run a separate resolution, you wanna make sure you hit rescale output here. And then uh, I, I prefer to do 72060 right now um, at 8,000 bit rate. So that seems to work for me. But anyways, make sure all that stuff is checked. Make sure your recording is set where you want it and make sure this is turned on and you're good to go. And then one more thing we wanna do here, you wanna make sure that you have got your save replay hotkey set. So if you don't wanna scroll down and find this, you can actually come up here to the top and you can just type replay and this will give you all of the different options for your replay buffer. This is what we want right here. Replay buffer, save replay. I have mine set to control F10. You can of course set it to whatever you want. But yeah, that'll do it. Once you've get all, once you've got all that set up, you can, uh, you can come in here and you can change some of this stuff. For example, you can change the file name formatting for your uh, replay buffer stuff. You can give the uh, the file name a different prefix rather than replay. This is, I think, probably default. I don't think I changed this. I might have set this to automatically remux to MP4 if you don't have that checked. You might want to do that because otherwise you're going to have a, a file that doesn't like to work with other applications a lot. So you might make sure that that's set. Otherwise, you're going to have to come in and manually remux, and um, that's just kind of a chore. So you might set that one, make sure it's checked. But other than that, you're good to go. And then anytime you're playing your game, 
and you want to save a clip, you did something cool, you hit a good gill streak, got a nice snipe, whatever, you just go ahead and you click control F10 or whatever your hotkeys are, and it will save to the uh, directory that you put right here on the recording path. Mine happened to go to a folder called OBS Recordings. But uh, so that's another reason you want to make sure your recording path is set here in the recording tab under output. Make sure that's somewhere where you can find your clips. But yeah, that's about it. A um, little bit of a bonus thing. I guess we can go ahead and go over this while I'm looking at it. Let me make sure it comes up. I'll click that on real quick. And uh, let me bring up the Stream Deck software here. So on my Stream Deck, this is kind of like a bonus tip for those, those of you streamers or content creators that have a Stream Deck. Um, I went ahead and set up something that I've called the content button. And this is where I store the hotkey that I put in that previous step. You can see it right here, replay buffer on OBS. It's saved under a hotkey. And uh, I've also got, if I happen to be running shadow play simultaneously, I've also got my hotkey for that here. And then I've also got a, uh, back when I was running an instant replay on the stream, I also have a hotkey to load that replay that I just saved and play it on the stream. And uh, actually the first thing, in case like my replay buffer fails, shadow play fails, you want redundancy, you really want that clip, I also have a Twitch stream marker that gets created with my content button. And uh, that make you know, worst ditch effort, I can go in and uh, I can, I can, just hit the VOD and find that stream marker and download the clip from Twitch in kind of a, a worse quality, you know. But uh, this is just kind of a bonus thing for those of you that have stream decks. This is a uh, this is a multi-action, and so it just runs through a bunch of different things. Um, I might make a separate video on this, actually, because this is a really handy thing for content creators. Um, it's a handy little tip that, uh, that people should know, I think. But anyways... That's it. That's how um, that's how I've set up the replay buffer. You'll definitely want to set that up um, if you're having problems with shadow play, or if you let's say you, you use an AMD card, for example, you don't have access to shadow play. I know they have their own variation, but I know some people don't like that either. Um, if you're going to be an OBS anyway, you might as well just uh, put it to work saving your clips as well. So that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.